Hi, my name is Ann Bowker and I'm the Chair of the Psychology Department here at Carleton University. On behalf of the Department, I'd like to welcome you and take this opportunity to tell you a bit about the Department. First of all, we're the biggest department on campus. We have almost 2,000 psychology majors from first to fourth year, about 180 masters and PhD students, and 43 faculty members. Psychology is the study of human behavior, and we're interested in trying to understand human and sometimes animal behavior. Why do people do the things they do? Our department is divided into six research areas, and each faculty member is associated with one primary area. In the developmental area, we're interested in children, adolescents, and emerging adults, such as university students. We study how and why development takes place. Some of the faculty in the area study aggression and bullying, others study shyness and social withdrawal, while others study math and reading literacy. We're also interested in factors affecting the transition to university and characteristics of positive youth development. Researchers in the health area are interested in the factors that affect the onset and course of disease as well as the impact of stress and illness on the individual. These individuals, uh, researchers might study happiness, what makes some people happier than others, forgiveness, bereavement and grief, as well as how cancer treatments can affect your memory. Researchers in the social personality area study romantic relationships and close relationships. They study individual personality traits such as procrastination. Why do we procrastinate and how can we stop? as well as group processes associated with influencing others in the role of social support. Researchers in the cognitive area focus on how we think and problem solve. These researchers focus on attention and memory processes, and they might study how we learn a language and how we process information. The forensic research group studies how psychological knowledge is applied to the justice system, and this includes research in police psychology, psychopathy, and eyewitness testimony, as well as understanding women in crime, sex offenders, and the nature of criminal risk. Finally, the applied area has a specific interest in the applied aspect of psychology. How can psychology be applied to real-world problems? Understanding conflict and conflict management, reducing workplace stress, and decision-making in the aerospace industry are just a few of the topics that these researchers might study. Throughout your time at Carleton, you'll take courses in all of these topic areas, as well as a number of courses that cover the methods we use to study behavior and the statistics we use to understand our results. We are an experimental program and our focus is on doing research, asking questions, observing and measuring behavior. Although we are a very big department, we have dedicated staff members here to help you answer any questions you might have and generally make this experience the best that it can be. Feel free to get in touch with the undergrad office if you have questions about your program and to talk to either the undergrad chair, the graduate chair, or the department chair if you have more significant concerns or issues, or just if you have a few questions about psychology and your future plans. We also have an undergrad psychology society, a pretty active group of students who are interested in getting involved, volunteering in the community, and generally talking about psychological issues as they are applied to real life. We hope that you enjoy your time here at Carleton in the psychology department. This year we're celebrating our 60th anniversary and we'll have plenty of activities related to our birthday celebrations. So make sure you check out our website to know what's going on in the department. We also have a Facebook page and a Twitter feed so there are many ways to keep up to date on psychology events.